Let us see the next question here, students. RBML is proposing to sell 5 years bond of rupees 5000. Bond means very similar to the debenture at 8% the rate of interest per annum. The bond amount will be amortized equally over its life. What does it mean 5000 divided by 5? Every year 1000 will be paid to the investor in form of redemption value of the security. Amortized equally over its life means every year 1000 will be paid. What is the bond's present value for an investor if he expects a minimum rate of return of 6%? That is a question. Please go through the question all of you. Before I proceed further, just I want to tell you friends that this is a question which is from the chapter number 4. You may be wondering that sir why this chapter is, this question is in this chapter if it is belonging to that chapter, giving reply to that uh, point of concern that say, you may have. Dear students, what happens at say, there are certain questions which have the application, which have the concept of discounting. The point at which say we are discussing those chapters at that point of time, we may not have done the concept of the discounting too much in detail. That is the reason say, I have that is a diverted those questions over here. So basically in your revision, I want to tell you that say always make sure that say you are doing the connected homework questions on the regular basis. Because if at all you are completing one chapter from my material and the same chapter that say you want to see from the module, then it may happen that say a few questions may not have been done by me in that specific chapter. It might be covered somewhere else. Make sure and I give an assurance to you that say everything is covered. The only thing is that say it may have changed like this. Because number of times the concepts are overlapping. Not investing too much time in this explanation. Coming back to the question. We understand that over here we are required to make the computation that what is the price over here the word which is provided that bonds present value. So what is the price of the bond that is of the debenture in a simple language that an investor is ready to pay that is what say we are required to compute. The rate of interest of the debenture is 8 percentage and the investors required rate of return is 6 percentage. So what we have to do friends, understand it carefully. So what happens at so over here, first year end, interest income to the investor will be 5000 that is the face value into 6 sorry into 8 percentage that comes to 400. Redemption value it is 5000 into 1 divided by 5 that comes to 1000. So first year in there will be an interest income plus redemption value of the security. Second year friends what will happen importantly interest will be received on 4000 at the rate of 8 percentage that comes to 320 and again the redemption value is 1000. This is the way on yearly basis we will have the interest income, on yearly basis we will have the redemption value and based on that the net cash flow will be calculated. 1400 at the end of first year, 1320 at the end of second year and so on. It has been given to us that investor requires return of 6%. So at the rate of 6% this net cash flow series will be discounted, we will compute the present value. Present value of the future cash inflow will calculate the summation of the same is the price that investor is ready to pay for the security. This is the way we are required to calculate the answer. Please take the answer. So here in the third year it will be 3000 
into 8 percentage. That comes to 240. In the fourth year, it will be 2000 into 8 percentage. That comes to 160. 1000 into 8 percentage. That comes to 80. Every year, the redemption value is 1000. So it is 1240-1160-1080. It will be discounted at the rate of 6%. The factors have not been given, so we have to compute it. First year factor is 0.9434. Second year it is 89 paise. Third year it is 0.8396. Fourth year it is 7921. Fifth year it is 7473. So 1400 into 0.9434. So 1320.76. 1320 into 0.89. 1174.80. 1240 into 0 0.8396 1041.10 1160 into 0 0.7921 918.84 1080 into 0.7473 807.08 Based on this, we will compute the P0. So, it is 5262.58. 5262.58. 5262 this is the way the present value of the cash and flow will be calculated. So, this is the way we compute the present value of the security.